If you've ever been to a Passover dinner, tradition has it the youngest boy at the table has to ask, why is this night different from all other nights? Boy, has that become a loaded question. I'm Itai Had with a story of Passover traditions you may need to pass over. Every year, come April, Verit Ban is knee-deep in preparations for her favorite holiday. And the holidays in my house uh, hold is very, very important. We're not religious people, but the holidays have a very strong meaning. It can take weeks to cook all the dishes and make sure everything is just right. The shopping uh, starts uh, probably about a week, a uh, week and a half before the planning for what the table will look like, uh, the flower arrangement. Today, she's making her signature dish matzo ball soup with a secret ingredient you can't find in any supermarket. We put a lot of love into it. But this year, the Passover dinner, which centers around the telling of how God freed the Israelites with 10 ancient plagues, is ironically happening during a modern day one, something Vered still can't wrap her mind around. It's, uh, it's happening this year. One of the plays is actually playing a role in this holiday. It's crazy. That's not the only thing that's off this year. While tradition calls for an empty seat reserved for the prophet Elijah, these days, most people are setting up another vacant seat. This one for their laptops. We're going to Zoom with uh, two other families, and we're going to have, we're going to try to make it ha as happy as we can. With everything going on, Verid has decided to add a new tradition, one she hopes will stick for years to come. I'm going to make sure that uh, we do have uh, a gratitude moment uh, and uh, appreciate the fact that we're all together. Celebrating freedom at a time of confinement and keeping ancient tradition alive with the help of modern technology.